things just kind of slowed down. Uh, I guess adrenaline kicked in or something. It, it was it was a mangled mess. Covering Washington County for you tonight, where we're hearing from the man who captured some frightening piece of video of a rollover, rollover crash near Hurricane. You're looking at the video right here. The incident all captured on video. You'll see only here on 2 News. It shows how quickly the situation unfolded and changed. Yeah, Christian Cedar spoke to the man who captured it, and Christian, he was in the right place at the right time. Yeah, that's right, Jesse Hartman tells me he jumped into action right after witnessing that accident. He told me it's a miracle that couple is alive. This past weekend, Jesse Hartzell was driving north along State Route 59 when he caught this on video. We see the, that Toyota swerving and, and we initially thought that, you know, they were just driving like idiots or something, drifting around a corner. It was a moment of total shock for Hartzell and his girlfriend. He says it's something he never thought to witness. Things just kind of slowed down. Uh, I guess adrenaline kicked in or something. It, it was it was a mangled mess. But that didn't stop Hartzell from knowing he had to help the victims. As soon as I saw the wreck, um, I had pulled over and, and looked at my girlfriend and told her I, I have to go help them. And uh, I jumped out and there was still traffic coming up headed north. Uh, so I kind of put my arm out um, Open they didn't hit me, but uh, I ran over to the car. Hartzell says he got to the flip car and tried to open the door. He heard a person moving around. And I'm asking, are you okay? And he says, I'm okay. Um, we get the door open and he was already out of his seatbelt. A couple minutes later, Hartzell is told there's another person in the car, so he sprung into action. The driver was uh, like upside down, still attached in the seat. Uh, and the seatbelt was really tight against their skin. Hartzell says it's a miracle that the driver and passenger are alive. I really thought I was going to be pulling out dead bodies out of that vehicle. Hartzell says he didn't do this alone. It was a team effort. There were a couple other people, uh, a lady and, and another guy, that hopped out um, after I got there. And they started directing traffic to make sure that we were safe. And, um, yeah, I, I just can't say enough about, you know, how, how good people can be whenever know they're faced with a situation like that now at the moment we don't have any information about the injuries or what caused the car crash reporting live christian sita kutv 2 news